Hi guys, so my name is Victoria. Um, today I want to start a new channel up about diabetes. Um, so yeah, um, today I'm just going to talk to you about my diabetes and like the story basically behind it. So, um, 9th of December 2009, I was 9. And on before that day, 9th of December, I felt like really ill, like I had a flu or something, but I didn't. I was I kept on drinking. I was drinking a lot of milk, um, a lot of water, and Coke, definitely Coke because I was drinking a lot of it. Um, yeah, and then. Because my mum had a boyfriend that was a type 1 diabetic. Um, before that, I didn't know anything about it. I didn't got to do anything. Like, didn't, it wasn't to do with me anything because I didn't have it. And uh, so he thought to check my blood sugars. Um, of course, he had to be chasing me around the house because I, didn't, I was scared of needles. So I don't want to let him check my blood sugars. So he checked my blood sugars and it was like, because I live in the UK, so it's like different measurements than to USA or something like that. Um, it was 28.0 or something. I know, I think it was much more than that. I think it was just HI. I can't remember now. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm ill. <laughs> yeah, um... So they checked my blood sugars and we've made an appointment, an emergency appointment to the doctors. The doctors told me to pee in a little sample bottle or whatever. And I peed in that because I had to, they forced me to, but it wasn't a problem for me because I was peeing quite a lot even through the night. So I did this, the doctor put like a little strip in it to see if I got any sugars or anything like that in there. And they said it was positive for sugars and I was supposed to go to the hospital straight away. So they gave us, well they told us to go to the hospital. The hospital sent us back for a letter from the doctors. So we just came back, yeah, we got the letter, we went back to the hospital and um, they Ad admitted me they done some blood tests and all that and it basically I found out like about 10 o'clock that I had diabetes like I didn't know what it was or anything like that my mum was a bit devastated I was crying a lot because I had to have my blood test done and I didn't like it so anyway I've done well I was in the hospital for a couple of days and then I went out. Well, I don't want, because like the nurses told me to check, to like give myself injection. But the point is, I don't want to give it to, to like, to me, like to myself. I don't want to inject myself basically. And um, they threatened me to like, they threatened me saying that I won't get out of the hospital because I was scared to do it. If I wouldn't be able to do it, who would do it for me? My mum wouldn't like actually do it, so I was uh, basically forced to do it myself. I was nine as well. I was scared, so yeah. Since then, I had to do everything. But to be honest, I didn't really care about it. Even if when I got out of the hospital, I just lived my life. Just took my injections sometimes. Well, most of the time, really. And, uh, but I did not do carb counting because I never got taught about it or no one told me about it. I didn't know what is a pump. Till about two years ago I found out what is carb counting and that I want, I have to do it if I want to get a pump. I never got told about a pump. I got, I found out from YouTube basically. And so, yeah. This is just how it goes. Just went to the doctors, found out. It's not really surprising. So, yeah. I had, like, on that day, a couple of days before I got diagnosed, I had this uh, play in school. It was a Christmas play. 
I was devastated. I couldn't do the second part because I was so ill. I couldn't even go to school. Like, I had to stay at home because my mom thought it was a flu. So, yeah. That's how it is, you know. Life of a type 1 diabetic ain't easy. Now, I know. I never knew what it was before. But now, I've got to know, obviously, a lot. <laughs> Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you give a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Yeah, and if you have any other ideas for this channel, you could let me know. And I'm sorry that I sound a bit weird and all that, and coughing. It's because I'm ill, and yeah, I'm cool, but I'm ill, not really fun, but... I always end up in a hospital when I'm ill. It's terrible. Anyway, thank you for watching and bye.